I would hope you would know that by now I'm pretty positive. But I have a bone to pick. I'm really annoyed with the doctor I went to go see today and let me tell you why. This is exactly how I went in. This is exactly how I went out with this band-aid that's sticking out because I had to show it so much. The doctors were so helpful they couldn't even replace the band-aid. Actually, they couldn't even give me more than 60 seconds of their time. You know what? I'll be gracious. Maybe they gave me 70 seconds of their time, but definitely not a minute, not two minutes, not, not two minutes worth, not 120 seconds. For sure they did it because I would have at least felt maybe seen enough. But I went into the doctor today. My first experience, my stitches were great. I had to wait for a while because they were, but the doctor, by the time he got to me, he was like, I really need to see what's going on in there. And then took great care, stitched me up. Anyway, it's been seven days since I got my stitches. And they seem to be healing fine, I hope. But the last, yesterday and today, it's been itchy. And I'm like, oh my goodness, is this a sign like that it's time to get them out? Like, is it healing enough that let's get these stitches out? I don't know, but it's been itchy, kind of throbby. So I let it breathe last night. I was like, maybe I just haven't let it breathe. I don't know, but I'm not a doctor. So I went in today because I have to work today and tomorrow and I just want to make sure it's fine. I want to make sure it's not getting infected. But another thing that I've been noticing that I don't know if it's related or it is, but this right eye has been red and super, super itchy. Like it randomly is dripping on its own. It's randomly, you can't really see right now that, but it is red. It has a little bit of irritation and randomly it'll drip. Like randomly, like my... So, in my mind, I have just been like, okay, my eye's a little irritated, but I don't think anything's wrong. But these last two days, I was like, you know what, I should ask the doctor that if anything, like, can I get anything transmitted by my hand or blood or germs that would, like, infect my eye? Because I did do some research, and that is true. Like, sometimes it could be swelling behind the scenes or whatever. So, I did some research, but this eye has just been, in particular, just a little, like irritated right so I figured I'm gonna go to the doctor as I look at my finger I'm just gonna ask I'm gonna mention it so I go in they sent me to the back I'm waiting first person comes in they do my little uh blood pressure she's super nice everybody's been nice when I arrived but the doctor comes in well when the nurse came in and do we'll start with that my blood work like, or my, my blood pressure. I was like, do I seem healthy? She was like, yep. I was like, awesome. She didn't tell me what my things were, nothing, which is fine. I didn't ask, but she did all the things. And I was like, am I healthy? And she's like, yeah. And then I was like, hey, who do I ask about like my eye? Like I have my, my eye has been really, really itchy and like just hurting. I don't think I have red eye or anything, but is it possible I could get something like from my cut, you know? Um, so she's like, you're gonna have to ask the doctor. The doctor comes in, walks in and is like, hi. And I was watching YouTube videos as I was waiting and watching. So I'm like, oh, hi. And I like put my phone down and then I un, she's like, so we're here for stitch removal. And then I undo the bandaid. I show her, she looks at it and she goes, mm, it's gonna need about three more days. So come in on Friday and walks out. She didn't ask any questions. I spent more time waiting. I spent more time with the nurse than the doctor. The doctor literally walked in. I undid my little band-aid. Showed her. She's like, it's just not ready yet. And I was like, no. Ugh, you know. She's like, it's looking he it's looking good, but it's just not healed yet. So you're gonna have to, I'm thinking three more days. And I was like, ugh, really? I'm like, what day is that? Friday, Saturday? She's like, Friday. And then she walks up. I wish I could see the footage from the from the doctor's office because I would love to see the timestamps. She walks out. She didn't ask me, do you have any questions? She didn't ask anything. She just walked out. Then she must have spent the time doing the paperwork for the employer. Because then I am sitting there. The next nurse person comes in with paperwork. This is for your employer in an envelope. And then this is for you. And it says, patient quote. Um better 
better want stitch removal. Patient, quote, better want stitch removal. I have a journalism degree. If I really, like, if I was going to quote somebody, I'd quote them accurately. I also would say that the doctor said it's looking better. And the truth is, it is looking better. That's accurate. The, it, the, the, it's looking way better than it did when I showed up there, you know, with my skin open. Duh. That's why we did the stitches. And yeah, I did want stitch removal. But you actually didn't hear anything else because you didn't care to ask because you don't want to put it in your damn report. So I get this paperwork and the nurse and then I said, can I said, I actually still had questions for the doctor. So she's like, do you want me to get her? And I'm like, yeah. So then the doctor comes in and I'm like, hi. So I wanted to know, I've been having this eye. It's been really irritated and I've been having headaches. And, but it's mainly this one eye. Is it possible that I could like acquire something through a cut or something that would impact my vision, this vision? And she's like, is it crusty? And I'm like, no, it's not crusty, but it does get like blurry and like where it's like blurry and like gooey and drippy. That's gross. So then she like puts her light to it. Look, she's like, look up, look down. She's like, you seem fine. Like, it's fine. And then I was like, okay, well, Friday when I come in. And she's like, yep, if you come in and it's worse on Friday, I just mentioned on Friday. And I was like, okay, thanks so much. And I was like, any changes? And she's like, no, everything's going to be the same. And I'm like, okay. So then when, you know, she leaves, I'm like, can I leave? And she's like, yep, you can leave. And I like walk out. She goes right back to where she's writing her notes. I understand she's busy. I understand that she has other clients to get to. But my mom and my grandma taught me something. Do things right the first time. Because people that do a lazy job work double the amount of time. I'm not saying you're lazy, ma'am. But what I am saying is, what I'm upset about is that we pay for health care. That doctors, you guys are in positions of power. And if you're in this field... Part of your responsibility is to help care for people well. And thank God mine is just, you know, some stitches. But part of feeling cared for well is just giving somebody the at least more than 60 seconds of your time. It's interesting. I'm actually working on a documentary tomorrow about like my theology of healing. And I talk a little bit about healthcare, but like my experience that I just had with you, ma'am, is that. You didn't actually, no offense, I didn't feel cared for. And I feel angry because for other people who may not have a voice, may not have as much privilege, for other patients who aren't recognizing the improper quotations that you're putting in there that meet your insurance needs, or like don't feel like they have enough voice to be like, hey, I still had questions for the doctor, bring them back. They leave without feeling properly cared for. And that makes me really angry. It makes me angry because I know that the doctor I experienced the, 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 the week prior, literally last Tuesday, was so gracious, so attentive. One of your nurses held my hand while the other doctor is doing, inc is doing incisions in my hand. But you, ma'am, didn't even sit down. You walked in. You couldn't even replace my Band-Aid. You just looked at it. You said what you said. You walked away and then you quoted something like I said it. And yeah, maybe with it, when I was there, like, you know, it's looking better. It is looking better. Maybe I said that while you were unwrapped, when I unwrapped it and I showed you. I was like, well, it looks better. But... Did you mention that I thought that I feel like it's itchy? Did you mention that I'm having this like weird side effect with my eye? That this eye's a little swollen and it's drippy? And that's fine. Maybe they're not related. But at least note that I'm asking questions. Because if something does come up, which God forbid, and I pray to God it won't. And God is sovereign over this body. Not you anyway. Definitely not you with your 60 seconds. But I just feel really, 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 really angry because I think part of health care is care. And honey, that care part, maybe you got burnt out, maybe you're tired, but it was a beautiful day in the middle of the day. I was like 
two o'clock when I was there. I'm sorry, I had to get that off my chest because I'm a pretty positive person. But for those of you that are in the healthcare realm, I know it's easy to get burnt out. I feel the same way when I do my marketing. I feel the same way like with school. Sometimes we get burnt out. Sometimes our best selves don't show up. But when there's a person on the other end, my hope is that even if you walk in and just the pause of, of just a pause of what's your name? My name's so-and-so. That is some level of, I care to know your name. I care to know you're a human. Not you walk in there. You're like, okay, I'm the expert. You have three days. Bye. I have so many questions. Like, this is annoying. I... When I shower, I have a bag over this hand because I don't want it to get wet. Can it just get wet? Is it healed enough where it could just get wet and then it dries? Am I supposed to put some type of ointment on it? You know what I mean? Like, because you're saying just keep it dry, keep it dry, keep it dry. So I'm keeping it dry. But now by the time Friday comes, it's going to be what, day 10 that this is in? It's like, I don't want this hand to be gross, you know? I don't know. I I don't know. I'm just frustrated. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because I treat people with care in any position I'm in. The place where I injured myself, I literally pr pr primarily work with dishware, like putting dishes back. That's my job, right? It's more of a bar back. And I do it with a smile. I do it with great customer service. And I do this after I'm a student during the day or after I'm doing my marketing gigs during the day or last night I edited a video till like one in the morning for a client. Like, so to me, I just felt very angry that people pay for healthcare and when people are coming in with a need and the other person is just subscribing your next task to do, Instead of offering a listening ear, I think there needs to be a different consideration of what your job actually entails. And that's my honest truth. And I would say all this to that doctor because I'm pretty pissed off. I'm mad you misquoted me. I'm mad you didn't give me the time of the day. And I'm just kind of irritated I even went. I'm irritated that I even went to, that I wasted a gorgeous day to come in. And it's fine that I didn't get the stitches. It's fine that we need, or that I didn't get them removed. It's fine. I have three more days. Like those things are merely inconveniences. But I do feel like there's a little bit of an injustice when you don't treat those that are coming in as patients and you are the doctor, the position of power, that you don't treat them with like some type of sensitivity or care. When you move quickly, you miss people. That's my words. I'm just keeping it real. Toodles.